why I don't believe charismatic prophets and why you shouldn't either. In this short video, I'm going to show you a few clips from a range of charismatic prophets who made false predictions. In fact, very, very deliberate predictions that turned out to be false. The Bible gives us very stern warnings about false prophets. God does not endorse them. We should not follow them, nor should we have any fear of them. How may we know the word that the Lord has not spoken? Deuteronomy 18.21 Good question. Guess what? There is a very simple answer. When a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, if the word does not come to pass, you need not be afraid of him. Deuteronomy 18.22 So many of these false prophets who claim to, be, to speak on God's behalf today threaten their flocks, forbidding them to critically analyze their predictions, using words like, don't touch the Lord's anointed, twisting Bible passages in their own favor. It's the height of arrogance when a prophet who claims to speak for God tells his or her audience not to check whether their words are true or not. No wonder Moses assured the people of Israel, you need not be afraid of him. The prophet who presumes to speak a word in my name that I have not commanded him to speak, that same prophet shall die. Deuteronomy 18.20 Not that I am advocating the death penalty for false prophets today, but God's attitude towards this subject has certainly not changed. Those who claim to speak on God's behalf have a death wish. The only reason they get away with it is the gullibility and lack of biblical knowledge of their congregants. Let's see some examples of charismatic prophets. Don't take my word for it. Listen to theirs and then see if what they say adds up. And of course, remember, the Bible is the judge. I said, Lord, Joe Biden don't need to be president. And just like this, just like if you'd answered me, he said he won't. Will President Trump, from what God is showing you, win his second term? Uh, yes, it is, is for sure, uh, Sid, that God wants uh, President Trump in. God has already sealed the results of this election. He has sealed it in heaven. Tracy, is President Trump going to have a second term? Well, it's the same thing, similar to Kevin, yes. I want to say without question, Trump is going to win the election. Trump will win. He well, will be president of the United States. He will sit in that office for four more years, and God will have his way in this country. The Lord said to me, I am going to give your president a second win. Whoa! In the third dream, he said, I need for you to be my running mate for my second election. And the Lord said, because what I intend to do through him, it will take two terms to do. And I need for you to run with him in the spirit to see that everything is removed out of the way that would hinder that so that he is not only finishes this term, but is reelected for the second term and can fulfill the mandates of God upon his life. You said this one that I shall raise up from New York, I will give him two terms. God's in control. He controls everything, and I believe that involves Donald Trump being president for the next four years. Will it be an eight-year presidency? Absolutely. Absolutely, we will. Uh, you're sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure about that. Wow. He is the one. Joe Biden is not the president-elect. He never will be the president of the United States. Donald Trump won by a landslide. Quit freaking out. Quit fretting. I'm betting the farm on this one. You are the chosen one. Lord, if it be your will and if it be necessary, another election, another voting day, whatever it takes under your kingdom, oh God, to bring it all in line. Bring it all in line. Bring it all in line with the will of God. We must not let the devil have the inheritance of this country. The angel of the Lord is going to go forth for America. Why? Because the president can't fight now. You get what I'm saying? He can't do it. So the Lord is sending his angel.
I really want to apologize, sincerely apologize, for missing the prophecy about Donald Trump. Uh, I prophesied um, that Donald Trump would be president, and then later on I prophesied that he would um, not be impeached, and in fact that he would win another term, and I was completely wrong. prophets arose among the people who secretly bring in destructive heresies, even denying the master who bought them. 2 Peter 2 verse 1. And many will follow their sensuality, and because of them, the way of the truth will be blasphemed. 2 Peter 2 2.